The FBI removed a dozen National Guard members today from securing President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris's inauguration. The Pentagon says the vetting process found two of them made extremist statements or posts about the January 6th attack. CBS 4's Courtney Crown spoke with a Hoosier security expert with extensive national security experience about what to expect tomorrow. As we saw on January 6th, things can get out of hand pretty quickly. Former FBI Deputy Director John Pistol has concerns for his former colleagues protecting the U.S. Capitol before and during the presidential inauguration. Pistol is a 26-year veteran of the FBI. His tenure includes an integral security role in the transition from President George W. Bush to President Barack Obama. Of course, serves a much smaller National Guard presence uh, in those because there wasn't, frankly, an assessment, an intelligence assessment that said that was needed, as there is now. Pistol says the vetting of each of the Guard members is unprecedented. The FBI removed at least a dozen Guard members prior to the inauguration, two for extremist statements and posts regarding the attack on the Capitol. The Associated Press reports all were removed because of security liabilities. Like some current officials, Pistol is concerned about an inside attack. But yes, can somebody else do something? And even, uh, unfortunately, like a, a, a suicide bomber, you know, somebody who's willing to give up their life, as we saw in international terrorism, of course, 9-11, so vividly displayed. So that's, that's my concern. In the two weeks since the violent riot, Pistol hopes the many layers of security now in place, plus law enforcement's presence, will deter any bad actor from attacking their own country. So you don't have just one three foot little barricade that can be pushed over as you've seen we've all seen courtney crown cbs 4 news the fbi has arrested more than 100 people who stormed the u.s capitol so far again these are live pictures